In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to select a subject and change their background. So here I have my subject in the center of my frame and a brick background. And I want to change that background into something a little more commercially friendly. So we're going to select our subject by using our quick selection tool on the left hand side. And once we've selected that, you'll notice we have a couple of options at the top here. I'm going to select select subject. And what this does is it makes Photoshop do some hard yards for us. Photoshop works out what is the main subject in our image and selects it for us. So let's see. Okay, so Photoshop has done a pretty good job here, but it has missed a couple of areas. Not a problem, we can fix that right up. So holding Alt or Option on your keyboard and zooming in. And then I'm just going to click and drag with my mouse. And I have added to that selection with my quick selection tool. It's doing the same up here for these headphones. And you will notice that this tool has struggled with the outlines of hair. Not a problem, we will refine that within the next step. But what I will do is just try and reduce the amount of work we have to do in that step. So holding Alt on my keyboard, I am subtracting from the selection. And you'll notice when I hold Alt, my cursor changes from an addition sign to a subtraction sign. So I'm just going around my image adjusting my brush size as well by using my bracket keys just for these detailed areas. Okay, I'm fairly happy with that. The next thing I'm going to do is choose select and masks and this is where we can refine our selection further. So you'll notice here my selection is in color and my background is red. And you can change that background. You have a couple of different options here. I like overlay because you really get that contrast and you can change that overlay's color. So let's zoom in and really have a look at the parts we have missed here. So as you can see, the hair still has a lot of that brick color in there. So we're going to use a tool here called the Refine Edge Brush Tool. And what this tool does is it selects the texture and color that you want to keep and subtracts the rest. So if I click in the middle of the hair, I'm telling Photoshop I want to keep this color and texture and get rid of everything else. So as I'm clicking and dragging outwards from the hair, it's getting rid of that brick color and texture. My advice for this tool is to be quite light handed as it's very easy for you to begin to get rid of colors and textures you actually wanted to keep. So just keep that in mind Use a light hand, don't go over the same section too many times. So again, painting from the colour and texture you want to keep, and in this case that's the hair. So I'm just going to spend some time here really refining these edges. Remember if at any point you make a mistake, you can hit Ctrl Z and it will undo that mistake. Once you're happy with your selection, you can choose where you would like to output it to. I'm going to choose New Layer. And press OK and you'll see now we have a new layer just with our subject selected. Let's add a new background now. I'm going to add a solid colour background. So I'm going to go down to this button here and we're looking for solid color. So you can choose a color here. I'm going to choose pink. Then rearrange those layers into the appropriate order. 
And now you can see we have successfully selected our subject and changed his background.